Hello friends, my name is Elliot Greenwood and in this video I'm going to show you my approach on how to create leaf textures for the trees, bushes and the same technique could be applied for the grass. So I'll be using 32 by 32 pixels but it doesn't really matter what size we're gonna work on in this part but it's just good to have consistent size. If you watched my video on how to create basic dirt grass tiles you probably seen that I used and quite an interesting technique on how to do it. So in this video I'm going to explore that technique and actually go through it and tell you my mindset and how I approach. So without further ado, let's begin. Now when it comes to colors, I really like to choose the very top corner, but of course you can choose whichever color you like. But to demonstrate my approach, I'm just going to select greenish color, something more towards yellowish, something like that. One darker yellowish color, a slightly yellowish towards orange color. Then I'm going to select more towards the red color like this. So now I'm just going to show you how I create my color palettes that we were going to use. And of course I'll be mainly using green colors to show exact approach. But just to demonstrate to you, I'm just going to show what it would look like with yellowish and red colors for like autumn themes and stuff like that. So I'm just going to copy down five times and I'm just going to use light and dark and tool to create a perfect tone downs just like that and I'm going to do one by one tone down something like that so we're gonna play with these set of colors so let's just call this layer palette you don't really need it but we're just gonna save these colors right over here I'm going to toggle off this layer and create new layer in fact, I'm going to create five more layers right here because we're going to use every single color for each layer. It would be best for me to have these layers go from top to bottom. So let's just sort them out like that. Now, my approach is usually to start with layers. What I like to do is just draw a basic shape. It can be around or you can have some bumps. It doesn't matter. It's just really your choice what you want to draw. But just for now, I'm going to keep something like that. Just a blob. Now I'm just going to fix some edges. Maybe I'll chop bottom section like that. Fix this part. Something like that. Give it a random shape. It doesn't matter. Just don't make it too extreme. And just for now, we're going to stick with this Kind of a blob. So now we're going to select a lighter color and go one layer up. Of course I'm going to increase the opacity and then I'm just going to draw the similar shape but slightly smaller on top. Now depending on the lighting itself you can move it slightly up but I'm just going to keep it straight at the top. So basically the light is going downwards and just draw this similar shape but slightly smaller something like that can draw on top because right now we're just working with a basic general shape. You can add more cuts into the shape, something like that. It will make the bush or tree stand out slightly more. Basically create an illusion that some parts are behind, some parts are like in front. Something like this, just round some parts off. Okay, that looks good. Let's move on onto the another layer. So we're gonna select a third color, third layer, and just like that, layer by layer, continue working on it. Now when it comes to these gaps, it's best to leave these outlines like this. Of course, don't be afraid of breaking these objects apart, because the more you're gonna break apart, the better the actual thing will get. If you want, you can remove some pixels in some areas. You gotta remember that you're working with one color per layer. You can add some outlines like this right in this area. Just work around and see what shape works for you the best. And then move on onto another layer and just perform the same thing. And as you can see, we are already getting quite an interesting but very basic shape of a bush or a tree, even though right now it looks like a blob of slime, but that's just a beginning. And just a final highlight, and there you go. Now from the far away, it looks like an actual blob of slime, and this is what we want. Or at least that's how I do it. So now that we got this, I'm going to remove layer opacity and I'm going to select the same color. And now I'm just going to remove the pixels around the shape. 
Now, of course, the best way to get it more randomized is just removing some lines and adding some more until we get these spiky texture. And once we've done that, I'm going to adjust all these parts manually. And just like that, just leave spiky pixels sticking out. Don't worry about having some holes like that around. That's actually going to give better look to it. Now, my approach to these edges is usually having shape like this or shape like this. One and two pixels like that or just one Tetris shape block. And just having this in mind makes the shape look even better and just go around, see if things look good or not. It's the best to avoid these lines right over here. And just like that, we got our first layer done. So as you can see, my approach is get the general shape done. And then to that shape, add this spiky tone. And now I'm going to do the similar thing across these layers. So there we go, we just got some very interesting textures. It basically looks like a moss patterns. That's just one of my first approaches that I like to use. Now I'm going to show you what the whole thing looks like. Now as you can see, it has this very, very interesting pattern. And the best part about working in multiple layers is that you can just move these parts around and see what place should have more or less highlights. So now I'm just going to move them slightly around. Something like this. And here we go. This is the most basic bushy or leaf look. So this is the stage two. And the reason why I have these colors, from this point, you can choose what colors you actually want to use. Now, for example, if you want to have your tree yellow leafed or red leafed or other color that you like, as long as you have this palette that I'm just going to move down here and actually I'm going to rotate it. And now I'm just going to apply these colors to all layers. Control C and Control V to every single layer. And now I'm just going to select, let's just say for example, this red color. And using this all pixel paint tool, I'm just going to replace level by level all these colors. Now you don't have to do it. I'm just demonstrating it to you. And as you can see now, the bush looks quite interesting in this color. So this is a stage two. And if you're happy with it, merge these layers and just have some a little bit fixing around these edges because obviously there's more light here when it should be fading. This is one of my approaches to creating these leaves. Now to the stage 3, which is a 
more of a shading texturing, I'm going to keep the same thing. What I'm going to do is layer by layer with a light and darken tool, I'm going to start adding more of a mixed pixels texturing like that, basically stroking line by line like this, and just like that, work with pixels. Basically randomize strokes, increase the opacity, and as you can see now, texture is more pixelated, add more lighter tones on the edges, like that. You can add darker tones like this, and as you can see we have more of a vegetated looking textures. Now as a very final touch, we're going to merge these layers together. If we are happy with the way this is laid out, I'm going to add shadows. And, and that's pretty much it. This is my one of the approaches on how to create this leafy texture. Now you don't have to go that extreme, fix pixels around the place. And to make this look even better, I'm just going to add simple small trunk, add a branch. And just like that we have a nice simple looking tree. Now if you want to have something bigger you can just expand it um, 64 by 64. Take this part and just copy around something like that. As you can see it works really well. You see the idea. So basically just create a round shape, texture it, and you can use this to create random shapes. It's the same method like working with clouds. Just have these round bumpy things, shade them accordingly, and you will get some interesting looks. To me it looks quite alright, but of course there are lots of methods to creating these kind of leaves, and same thing with selecting colors. So there you have it. If you find this tutorial useful, Make sure to drop a like. If you want to learn how to use Pisco app, you can find a video link in the description down below, or you can click on the notification on the top of the video, or you can find it on my YouTube channel, wherever you're gonna look at. If you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me draw, drop a comment down below. I hope I helped you in some form or way, and I hope you learned something new. So thanks for watching again, and I'll see you next time.